you guys welcome back to my channel now i don't normally cover like the heels or kristen cavallari i think that's how you say your last name kristen cavallari and jay cutler but i was looking at the ashley and there's a story on there about how kristen and jay they're being sued for five hundred thousand dollars over an alleged dog bite and i was reading it and i thought wow five hundred thousand dollars like the the victim must have been mangled pretty bad um but when i realized that it was like his thumb i was looking for a picture there's no picture so i was like i'm gonna cover this give you guys the details and then i want to hear y'all's opinion in the comment section below so a cable and satellite installer is suing kristen and jay for five hundred thousand dollars claiming that one of their german shepherds owned by the former couple bit him last summer according to this lawsuit the satellite installer Nathan Beam was completing a job at their home in Tennessee on June 3rd when the incident occurred. Now they are split up. They're getting a divorce or they may have actually already be divorced, but they're not together. But last summer when the incident occurred, they were still together and they were still living in a home together. The lawsuit states that one of the German shepherds believed to be named Kona owned by Kristen and Jay was confined to a particular area while Nathan completed the installation. However, as he was leaving, the dog met him at his vehicle and proceeded to bite him when he reached down to pick up his equipment. Nathan claimed that the dog clamped down on his left thumb and fingernail and would not let go for several seconds. Nathan insisted that he did not entice, disturb, alarm, harass, or otherwise provoke the dog in any way. And then he went to inform Kristen's employee of the incident and she gave him a paper towel and told him to leave the property immediately. I think I'm more bothered by the way he was treated by this employee. I've heard stories about Kristen being kind of rude and her employees even being kind of rude. I watched Very Cavallari, um, like season one and two, and I like her on the show. She seems very nice on the show, but I have heard stories that she's not so nice. So, knowing this, like, they weren't there. According to the documents, the lawsuit documents, Kristen and Jay weren't there. Some of their employees were there, and I guess they were supposed to oversee this installation. And when he was bitten, he goes there to the employee and is like, hey, I'm bitten. And she's like, here's a paper towel. You need to leave right now. I'm a little bothered by that. You guys let me know how you're feeling about that in the comment section below. I feel like she should have took him in called Kristen and Jay and been like, this is what's going on. He just got bitten. Like, what are we going to do about this? Do I need to pay him? Do I need to write him a check? What do we need to do? You know, do I need to call an ambulance? Do I need to go with him to the hospital to see what happens? Here's our information. Send us your medical bills. We'll take care of it. But it was just no paper towel. Leave. So I'm bothered by that. Now, outside of just throwing him a towel and telling him to get off the property, even though she was there, and her job was to oversee this, she did not restrain the dog at all. Even like when he went to leave again, from what I'm understanding of this report, it says, in addition, Kristen's personal assistant, who was at the house during the attack, admittedly failed to take any steps to measure, to restrain, confine, or otherwise control the dog while the plaintiff was on the property, or to keep the dogs restrained as required by the cable and satellite company. So, you know, if you are getting an installation yourself, one of the things that they ask you, do you have any dogs on the property? If you do, can you have them put up? You know, that's, I know I've always been asked that. Like, hey, we're coming to install the Wi-Fi. You got any pets? If you do, can you have them put up? Um, my pets, luckily, I've never, you know, my little sunny bum, he's not going to hurt nobody. He may bark, but when he gets up to you, he rolls over on his back and he wants you to pet him. But yeah, she has like some really big dogs, you guys. I'm going to show you guys a picture. The court documents point out that neither Kristen nor Jay were believed to be at the property at the time of the attack. However, both are named as joint owners of the two German Shepherds. Um, including the one that allegedly bit the satellite installer. The lawsuit also claims that Kristen and Jay were not educated on this breed of dog and how they have the potential to be dangerous. They have potential to be vicious towards other people, towards other animals. Um, but it also points out that on social media posts over the past few years, that she's made captions such as train killer and beast. When posting pictures of the dogs so i'm like the lawsuit's claiming that she wasn't aware of it but in these pictures hashtag train killer maybe she was aware of it 
As a result of this incident, the satellite installer is asking for $500,000 for bodily injury, medical expenses, future medical expenses, permanent impairment, pain and suffering, disfigurement, scarring, emotional distress, loss of wages, loss of enjoyment of life, and other related damages. So, um, $500,000, I was thinking it would be like an arm, you know, the mangled, but we don't see a picture here of his thumb. So I don't even know how, ba how bad the thumb is. Like, is the thumb really jacked up? Like, is, is it unrecognizable as a thumb? Does it look like something else? Like, uh, you know, anytime I hear of like people suing famous people, I always have to wonder if there was like bad intentions behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I know they have money, so I'm going to ask for a lot more. And I'm not saying this is the case with this guy, but we don't see a picture of the thumb. So I, I'm just like, I can't tell if he is asking too much just because he knows they have money or if he really, like if his thumb is really jacked up. You know, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Train killers attack the cable man. Chris and AJ were not there. They left an employee there to kind of oversee this installation and she did not make sure that the dogs stayed away and one of the dogs attacked the satellite installer to the point to where it bit his thumb when he alerted the employee she said here's a paper towel go away and did not check back in with him and now he's suing for five hundred thousand dollars you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below do you guys feel like this is too much do you guys want to see a picture of the thumb as well do you feel like you can make that decision on whether or not they're asking for too much also they have children so, do you think he could be a threat to the children knowing that he bit this man? I don't know. You guys let me thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that right now. It will mean so much to me. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.